Okay, okay, okay. I know what you're thinking. Not another rebuild series. It's been done so many times before. I totally get that. But this one's going to be different. I'm only going to be using one weapon the whole entire time. And I'm only going to be upgrading the equipment around said weapon in hopes of better survivability and DPS. To make things interesting though, I made a roadmap of specific monsters that I need to kill. But the only way to get to the next checkpoint is by getting a unique from the last monster. Now, the whole point of the series is to rebuild around a certain item and see how far I can take this item. That doesn't necessarily mean though that I need to get best in slot gear or a max cash stack. It's about rebuilding and getting good practical gear and completing the goals I've set for myself. Now, enough of that though. Let's get to the main character of this story, the Warp Scepter. The Warp Scepter was introduced to the game with the Path of Glorphy quest. Uh, it drops from Warp Terror Birds and Warp Tortoises. Now, in terms of DPS, it's slightly better than the Ebon Staff, but it's also slightly worse than the Trident of the Seas. When it comes to this rebuild series, though, I don't think I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna be like the basic like zero to max cash. No, I'm gonna do things that are practical. I'm gonna just. Go for upgrades that I want to go for that seem necessary for the content that I'm doing. And let's just see where I end up. Okay, I know this is going to seem super weird. But I'm going to start Lava Dragons. This is going to be my first checkpoint. Lava Dragons don't necessarily have a unique. Now they do have the Visage, but I'm not going to go for a 1 in 10k drop off the bat. Um, but what I am going to have as my goal in in place of a unique is that I'm going to be going for around 2 mil cash. 2 mil cash is going to be super important to afford the equipment that I need for the next checkpoint. And once I get there, I'm going to show you what exactly that is. Oh man, uh, this is uh, this is a different type of feeling. You know, I haven't played it like on a non Iron Man account in such a long time, but it feels like I am. I, it really does. I, I really do love it. Uh, but I just charged this bad boy up. Uh, by the way, the Warp Scepter takes Chaos Runes and Earth Runes. And it only costs around like 200 and something GP for each cast. So it's like kind of expensive, kind of not. So Lava Dragon's going to be perfect for this. Alright, there it is. First kill of the rebuild. Not bad, not bad. It's a pretty basic drop, but we'll take that, we'll take that. I find it so weird that they updated this model. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. It seems cool in theory, but I I just feel it feels kind of weird seeing the lava dragon like this. I feel like they could have done more with it, to be honest. Uh, this almost low key feels like a private server type of like model, but I mean it's something new. I, I can't blame Jagex. The old one was kind of weird. Hey, there it is. <laughs> the lava battle stat. <laughs> you know, I was actually going to make this the unique uh, to get to the next checkpoint. I decided against it though, because it's a 1 in 42 or something around that. And that's just, that's too easy. I have to be like one of the most complacent players in the game when it comes to the Wildy. I legit forgot that I was in the Wildy itself. Um, I haven't seen anybody just yet. Um, I do have faith though that I'll log out fast enough, but if I die, that's uh, that's definitely going to suck, and I'm not sure what to do if I do. It's the little fool, little room fool helm. Okay. That's actually a massive drop. That's 20k. Holy shit. <laughs> that's actually so important. Oh my god. Uh, we love that. Let's go. Oh my god. Basically 300k from that first inventory, dude. Holy. Like, I can buy so many things with that. Alright, you know, you know, I gotta drip myself out with a little swamp bark. You know what I mean? Increases my DPS, but also gives me some pretty good tanky stats. I won't even lie. Uh, but I do need to go ahead over and buy some royal seed pods, because those are gonna be pretty vital, I think, just in general to have, because being that close to a bank with an item that is only worth like one GP is, that's just so cost efficient. 
All right, where's this guy at, man? He's gonna be the first item I buy that isn't uh, from the GE. There it is. Give me a little 50 of those. All right, I can hold like 20. Thought I'd just throw in that I literally deleted every single thing before I started this rebuild. Every untradeable, every teleport. I'm trying not to give myself too many handicaps, you know? Just try to do it from the ground up. See where how far I can get. All right, let's get this next inventory on the road. I, I, I think I bought the, the wrong tabs. I won't even lie to y'all. Okay, okay, I did my research. <laughs> These are the right ones. <laughs> okay, now we're getting the second, second inventory on the road. Holy fuck. <laughs> that guy actually almost killed me. He's actually so bad though. I don't even think he had the, the shortcut. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, fuck. All right, it's got to add, yep, a little 1,000. Okay. Uh, by the way, I did start with 1,000 chargers, uh, which is around like 200k in a sense, but the weapon can't be used without chargers, so I just had to. Can we just talk about how goofy this animation is? Like, <laughs> I actually, it's just now clicking, like, how weird it actually is. Like, why do I hold my shield like that? Oh, it's actually kind of cool, I won't lie. Dude, yes, let's go. That's 100k. Oh my god, I haven't had that drop once. Actually, I was starting to think I wasn't going to see it at all. Oh my god. I literally just, <laughs> that's the back to back. What the f <gasps> holy shit. That's actually Oh my god. Okay. Well, sometimes you, you know, it's gonna have some good RNG. Let's go. Okay, I'm just selling off a couple things because I'm actually gonna buy probably one of the biggest upgrades I'm gonna see on this account. Or on this rebuild, I should say. It's it, it's it's a little OP, and I, I'm, I'm not surprised they're going to change it, but we're actually going to buy the Occult Necklace. The Occult Necklace is just way too good. The 10% ma magic damage you get from it is just... It's absurd. It, it, it actually makes no sense. Just to give you perspective of how good this item actually is, it literally has 4% more magic damage bonus compared to full Ancestral. That is, like, completely crazy. Okay, I... I I haven't really been like tagged by a decent PK yet. This guy isn't necessarily like crazy, but um, oh my, what am I doing? Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna live. I, I have literally no bruise. I just have food. I, I can't even attack him back. What the f- Dude, I did not- <laughs> I didn't know this weapon can't attack back. Like, then- Wow, okay. I, 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 I don't have prayer. <laughs> ah, dude. I'm probably dead. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. If he hit anything, I, I mean, he had a 9 on 19. Holy shit. <laughs> I, I actually live. What the fuck? Okay, let me talk to you about one of the best things I think RuneScape has ever added. And probably one of the most underrated items in the game. The Forgotten Brew. Dude, this thing is so good. Holy shit. It gives literally the same stats as an imbued heart. It's pretty cheap. And it also gives a little bit of prayer. I don't think I'd live that last escape if I don't have prayer right there at the end. This thing is like so important. Uh, I didn't mention it earlier because I just forgot. But dude, this thing is vital. For like 2 to 5k, it's it's just so cost effective. I'm, I love it. 
All right, I put a down payment on Sincere Breeze. I really hope they pay off. Um, I think they're literally the difference between life and death sometimes. They really are. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god, I'm missing 3k. I was at, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have it. <laughs> I literally have it right there. That is the first one mil cash stack. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay. Guy seems like he knows what he's doing. I won't lie. Uh, this is this is tough. <laughs> that, I actually have no idea. I actually have no idea how that worked, dude. What? There it is, there it is, oh my god, okay, two mil. We have now completed the first checkpoint. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Let's get to the next one. All right, be real with me. I look like a complete Chad. Like, you, you just can't, you can't argue it. Now, this is kind of weird gear. I completely agree. But for what we're about to do next, it makes total sense. Checkpoint one is now complete. And we're going to move on to checkpoint two, Dagonoth Rex. For those who don't know, Dagonoth Rex has really low magic defense, which means I can use tank gear while using the scepter and I'll still be at max DPS. I think Rex is like the perfect boss to kill at this point because my da my scepter is still going to be doing full damage. So nothing's going to stop me. The only thing I have to worry about is the setup itself. The one drop that I need to get that is unique from Dagonoth Rex is the Berserker Ring. I've actually never done Dagonos in my life besides the diary, so this might go really bad or really well. Let's find out. Okay, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know how to like set up the safe spot. Uh, <laughs> I don't use like, I, I try not to use any plugins to be honest, because I do think plugins kind of ruin the game for me. I played so many, I played thousands of hours with like tile markers and all that, but it just makes the game look so like aesthetically not pleasing, you know? So I, I think I got it. Uh, see how it goes. Hey, first, there you go. First Dagonoth Rex kill. Just some bones. Okay, okay. Uh, they're noted, by the way, because uh, that's also why I have one KC. Because I did the Elite Remy Diaries. But, alright, first kill down. Well, this this is actually going so much better than I thought. Um, they, nothing really hits me. I don't really take damage. And the only, like, complaint I have is that it takes a minute and 30 seconds for him to spawn. I didn't know that, so I guess like theoretically the most kills I can get is like 45 an hour or something like that. That's just like if I insta kill him, but this is, yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of this, 100%. What the fuck is that? Remnick Blade? Alright, we'll take it, I guess. Dude, I fall. Oh, I hate. I hate collection or combat tasks, whatever they are. I, I just, I just can't. I, I thought, <laughs> I thought I got the unique. Oh fuck. I, I, I'm actually like brain dead or something. I, I knew that was gonna happen eventually, but I actually didn't know his aggro range like whatsoever. I think that's supreme, right? Uh, no, that's. Now I gotta set it up again. Oh well, I, I knew that was gonna happen. It is what it is. Oh, I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I. Kill seventeen is apparently when we finish checkpoint two. Okay. Interesting. Well. Um. Okay. Checkpoint two is now completed. I would say it was a fun grind, but it really wasn't much of a grind. 
But okay, let's move on to checkpoint number three. You've probably all guessed it by now, but it is actually Revenants. When it comes to something like the Rep Caves, I only see the same three items. I literally see a Magic Short Bow, Crossbow, and a Begora's Chain Mace. That is it. I don't see anything else. So I'm really curious how the Warp Scepter is going to hold up there. And let's just see how long it actually takes to get a unique. Big shout out to the GOAT. If you know, you know. But I'm actually headed this way because I need to get a few things before I head over to the Revenants. And you can probably guess what that is. It's a Salve Amulet. Salve Amulet is just so pivotal for my account when it comes to Revenants. I'm not going to be doing that much damage with the Warp Scepter. I know that. But the Salve Amulet is going to just increase my DPS by around like 20%. So it's just a necessity. One of the rules I did set for myself though is that I'm not allowed to use Purdue. And I'm also not allowed to get things that I'm not able to with the Warp Scepter. For example, the Majorina 2 Cape. I can't get the Majorina 2 Cape because you need to use God Spells to kill the bosses. And I can't do that with the Warp Scepter. So, that is just, I'm just letting y'all know for the future how I'm going to go about like certain untradeables and certain things when it comes to this rebuild. Okay, I I I I can't I can't find the the whatever the Tarn's diary or some shit. I, I cannot find it. Like it's I built this bookshelf and I just A few moments later. We're, we're not gonna talk about it. Okay, nope, just gotta imbue this bad boy. I should have <laughs> yeah, I have four point five mil reward points. Okay. That's, I think, from all the things I unimbued and sold on G. There it is. Ooh. Actually, I really like how this item looks. I, I am not going to lie. I am such a fan. It is just so cute. Look at it. All right. Here's the gear that I'm going with for checkpoint three. Little blood bark. Sears ring eye. Little malediction. I'm going to be super tanky. The stats on this are actually pretty insane. And then I'm gonna actually, I kind of forgot something. I think about it. Y yeah, the thing I forgot was actually the Mage Cape. That is actually 10 magic defense bonus. That is gonna be huge for when people like TB me. I literally didn't even think about that because I've, my mind's just been on like, don't use intradables and just figure out a way around it. But dude, this is, this is pretty important. Just, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I look good. I look good. Okay, I'm not sold in it on the idea of like killing rev orcs, but I am prayer flicking. It's, I mean, it's all right, but this is uh, not as good as I thought it would be. It, he kind of regens a lot, but we'll keep doing it for a while. Let's see how it goes. First kill. There it is. All right. A little, little bracelet. Nothing crazy. The bracelet's worth a good amount, but so far, not too bad. Uh, we'll think of something. Okay, these Vennies are like, or, or bots are just like, they're kind of scary. Alright, just to recap real quick. In terms of the uniques that I'm going to be going for when it comes to this checkpoint, it's going to be any of the 16 mil, 8 mil, or 4 mil relics, or any of the weapons and the Amulet of Avarice. Obviously, I don't want the Amulet of Avarice. That would be a terrible drop. But everything else, I'm going to allow myself to move on to the next checkpoint if I get one of those. You know, that, you know that that, that kind of made my heart drop. Uh, four magic seeds, though. Uh, that's actually. I mean, I've been doing revs for a while, so I feel like I have the drop rate somewhat memorized. But I think it's like a one in two point something k around there. So that's that's unfortunate. Okay, that is the last kill of the trip because my looting bag is actually full. Uh, I, I'm I'm just gonna get that out because I, I I'm pretty sure uh, it's a good amount. Not bad, not bad. 555k. What do I mean, dude? Not bad. That is like... I have not been making that type of money. Uh, Lava drags were good, but this is like so much faster in terms of GP. And I honestly feel like a raid boss with this gear. Uh, I'm really curious how it's going to go down when the first PK gets on me. So this guy just asked me to good luck, like if he wanted to fight. Dude, I have a Warp Scepter. Who am I going to kill? That's... I guess I look like a PK. That's actually kind of crazy. 
Okay, I, I, I made the switch. I went over to uh, Red Hobgoblins because there's just no reason to be at the Orcs with this weapon. It, it just doesn't work. <laughs> First of all, the kills per hour here are like two to three times faster. I don't get ragged off of the or the Hobgoblins as much as I did the Orcs. Um, there are occasional like other people that jump in like crash or, you know, there's Vennies and a bunch of gold farmers, but uh, this is just so much better. And the heal mechanic, I think, was one of the main things messing me up over the throw at the Revworks. These guys, I can actually one-shot when it's towards the end. A lot of the times, the Revworks would just heal, and dude, it is so annoying. You, you just, it's just so frustrating. Okay, I made the change to 2K Worlds, and I, I'm a little timid on whether or not I should stay here. But so far, it feels... It feels better. It really does. I don't see people... Uh, as long as I'm ready for the PK, I can just, you know, tab out because I actually have the Elite Wildy Diaries done, which is pretty cool, and it's actually so helpful here. I will say, though, the PKs here are kind of scary. Uh, I won't lie, because most of them are in max gear or near max gear, and those type of guys, I mean, they're, they're, they definitely have a way better chance of killing me than the other guys. the little 500k inventory uh i got that dragon meadow which is like a pretty much one in one k so don't know if that's lucky or unlucky dude this drop will always give me just like a good dopamine rush i love this drop oh my god deep plate legs are like they're goaded uh there's something about it that just feels so good okay i just had to do a quick batch sell um I need money for runes. Runes are just so... Oh my god, I, I fly through them. I use like maybe 12 to 1400 charges an hour of the Warp Scepter. So I am just in constant need of them. Not even close. I can confidently say I'm the first person to ever wear this in in the rep caves. I can I can I can guarantee that actually. But no no, I, honestly though, this is actually pretty cool gear. I I feel like I'm playing a different version of RuneScape when I'm like wearing this. I swear to god. I think I'm also risking like a mil maybe. So if a PK kills me, I mean, they'll get a decent amount, you know. This is definitely my favorite part of any trip is when I open the looting bag because I don't really check what's in there while I'm uh, in the rep capes. But, you know, I, I expect at least like 500K minimum like each time and it just, it adds up so fast. I love it. Just <laughs> quick 550K. Easy. Oh my god. There it is. Four mil. Actually a collection log slot. What the heck? I've never had this one on this account. Oh my god. That's the unique. Uh, I mean, I, I want to say I can leave, but it, it's not time yet. I mean, what, what can I say? That that was... That's such a good drop. But, but it's not enough. It, it really isn't. I need to have at least 40 mil uh, i think i'm not even halfway there yet oh man it, it feels so good to have a green cash stack but but it's funny because it's not enough it it really isn't i need to get to 40 mil 40 mil is when i can buy the gear that i want for the next checkpoint there's there's just no way about it the unique came a little earlier than i thought it really did because I'm not scold and I'm not on task or anything like that. So, I mean, I got lucky. I, I like it, uh, but we got to push forward. I'm waiting for the offer to go through, but I'm trying to buy 80,000 chaos runes. It's a pretty big investment, 8 mil, but I mean, there's just no way around it. I need to get to 40, so I'm committing to it and I'm just going to camp reps, I guess. Hey, okay, okay. Little one mil. We'll take that. We'll take that.
Doctor! Okay, I'm gonna let this play in the background, but how cool is it that I got an 8 mil drop to finish it off? Like, that's just so... I, I love that. That's the one thing I love about RuneScape so much, is that sometimes it just comes out of nowhere. And it's just... And that's what makes this game what it is. I will say, the whole time, I did not die once. You know how crazy that is? Not to die once in the rev caves? You know, did you see all those PKers? They they had pretty good gear. Uh, I don't think I've ever fought a truly max PKer, but dude, oh my god, those guys are definitely kidding. We made it. Checkpoint four. Uh, I'm finally here. <laughs> it's it didn't take too too long to be honest. I'm barely getting to the hard part. Uh, it's weird to say that, but you know, I guess it kind of makes sense though, because it is the last checkpoint. I will say that, you know, before I make videos like this, I'm obviously going to do the math and like what's possible, how long it's going to take. And I know for a fact this last checkpoint is going to be the most dangerous. I, I, obviously at revs, I got tagged by so many PKers, but I don't think anything equates to what I'm up, about to be up against, really. And the only reason I say that is because in the rev caves, I was allowed to AFK because I have a chance of living. And this next checkpoint, I don't think that's going to be the case. And... I'm praying for myself. Okay, okay. This is just a little sneak peek, by the way. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too much in depth because we still have a whole another episode. This is part one of two. I'm not sure how long the other one's gonna take me to record. And, you know, it comes down to RNG at this point. But thanks again for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate y'all. Peace. Love y'all.